I've just eaten for the first time in four days. Let me tell you what I learned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Now, over the last four days, I have been uh, eating nothing. I've only been drinking uh, fresh uh, fruit and vegetable juices. Okay. Uh, I decided to do this for a few reasons. Now, before I get into like what I learned and what I realized, let me just tell you why I did it. So, uh, firstly, I wanted to uh, find out the limits of my body you know I always had this thinking that in Ramadan for example you know when it's Maghrib time you could just have some soup and dates and stuff and you'd probably have enough energy uh, for the next day until Maghrib the next day uh, that was always something that I thought and I never did it myself and so now I just wanted to test and see you know how much energy do you actually need that's the first thing the second thing is I wanted to uh, spend four days giving my organs a rest you know um, our stomach, our intestines, our liver, our um, pancreas, etc. They're, they're working all time, three, six, five. Okay, in Ramadan, we give them a bit of a break during the day, but then often at night time, we make them work double as hard, right? So I just wanted to give them a rest, okay? So stomach, you don't have to digest anything for, uh, for four days. You know, pa uh, liver, you don't have many toxins that you have to clean and purify for four days, etc. Give them a rest. Um, the other reason is that I, I'm not only giving them a rest, but I'm drinking just pure micronutrients, you know, so plenty of vitamins, pen, plenty of minerals. And the idea behind that is that uh, these things <coughs> are what liver uh, and, and intestines, etc., what they need to actually operate well and to even heal themselves, okay? So a lot of people have, you know, I don't know, IBS, for example, uh, which is a stomach illness, right? It's very hard uh, illness to deal with. Or they have Crohn's disease or they have inflammation, which just causes trouble, right? Uh, what if you gave those organs a break and then you just consumed these micronutrients which would help those um, organs actually heal themselves? Because the truth is the body is fine at healing itself. But when you're forcing it to <coughs> work very hard while healing itself, it finds it hard to do that. The other reason I wanted to do it is <coughs> I wanted to... Sorry for the coughing. I just tickly throat for some reason. Um, I wanted to kind of tame my desires in a way you know maybe personally my biggest desire is is to eat right i love eating i love enjoying food um and i've learned to reduce what i eat reduce the portions but i just i just love it i just love eating and you know for many of us this is the case so i wanted to test myself and just put myself in an environment where halas i'm not going to eat for four days and the final reason you could say that i uh, wanted to do this juice fast is uh, because I wanted to uh, try and stop being so dependent on sugars and the high salt uh, food that I sometimes eat. You know, I just got a theory, I don't know if it's proven or not, uh, that we eat a very high sugar food sometimes, we eat very salty food sometimes, and our body actually relies on that. And uh, I'll tell you what happened, uh, which kind of proved that that is the case in a sense. Um, so these are the main reasons I wanted to do it. And, you know, overall, if you want me to give you a summary, would I recommend it? Do I think it's good? I would say definitely it's something worth doing once or twice a year, um, if not four times a year, you know, once every three months or, you know, let's say once every six months because it is it can be tricky to do. So, yes, I would recommend it. Um, how do I feel? I feel good. Um, now let me go into like the day by day. So day one, nothing but juices. Uh, and how I do it is four juices per day and uh, it's two and then two. So two of one type and two of another type. These are juices, a mixture of uh, the fruit, maybe a third of the juice would be fruit to give it the flavor because some of the vegetables, they're quite strong tasting and you actually want the juice to taste good so you're going to uh, actually drink it all. And therefore, you know, a good third of it is, is fruit juice, um, which is not actually a problem because fruit juice is not the same as like refined sugar when it comes to hitting your bloodstream so quickly. And also uh, apples or pears, for example, which I was using for a lot of the sweetness of the juice, uh, they, they have um, thingy in them. They have fiber in them, which actually uh, helps you absorb the sugar in a slower way, which um, helps you in terms of insulin resistance and all of that stuff. So uh, 
yeah, those are types of juices, like around a third uh, apple juice or something like that. And then the rest might be, you know, cucumbers, spinach. Uh, I put some mint in there, put some, um, what else? I put some courgette in there, put some uh, pineapple as well. Uh, that's more of a fruit. Uh, and and uh, in the morning and the evening, I had avocado blended into it to make it a bit thicker, get some fats. Uh, into my diet and also uh, to fill me up a little bit, you know, to get that feeling of being full up. So um, that's the type of stuff I was drinking. Now, day one, uh, around maybe I could say Asr time, uh, four, four or five o'clock ish, I, I began, to, began to feel very drowsy and I just had to sleep, right? I couldn't think, I had a headache and stuff. So I slept and generally the first day I wasn't feeling too good. Now, day two, I woke up, I was feeling great. Alhamdulillah, I was feeling perhaps higher energy levels than a normal day and you know you can see I'm not like someone who's overweight I'm not someone who generally has energy problems uh, but um, maybe that's why I didn't see a huge difference between normal and while I'm doing the juice fast but once I uh, what I understood is the first day my body was overcoming the usual refined sugars that it's used to getting energy from and it wasn't finding any refined sugars so it's like oh where am I gonna get energy from and after that first day of struggling with that He's like, oh, I've got to get the sugars from these juices he's drinking. So it started doing that. And then day two, three, four, I felt fine. So that's kind of the, what happened in those days. Um, day four, I must admit, I started feeling a bit hungry. Um, and, and one thing that I realized in this whole process was that uh, being hungry and wanting to eat are quite different things. You know, I during day two, three, four, you couldn't say I was feeling hungry. Yes, my stomach felt quite empty, but that's different to feeling hungry. I had good energy. I, uh, I I just felt nourished and I felt like, okay, if I am wanting to eat, it's just because I want to eat. It's either my desires or it's like, um, uh, I just want to feel like my stomach is full, but I don't necessarily need that food. That's the kind of feeling I had. So that was interesting. And I think most of us, we never feel uh, what you might call biological hunger where your body doesn't have enough in it you know it, it, yeah it's not got enough energy going into it most of us never feel that well in lahil hand you know but the truth is that i felt empty stomach but not hunger which is sometimes it's hard to differentiate those two things we often think when we um, stomach is empty it means we're hungry we, need, we go and eat but the truth is a lot of the time we've got plenty of energy so that was something interesting and um, uh, yeah, and I found that my energy levels were good. I, f I found that, you know, hunger or eating is a real desire. Um, it's hard to fight it because day four, I realized, look, I don't, I realized I'm getting good energy. I don't need to eat um, per se, but I just want to eat, right? I just want to eat. And I, I did want to eat some good foods, but I was also craving some bad foods. So what that told me is like, there is still some of that stuff in me which is telling me, oh, you, you need that high salt food or you need that greasy food or whatever. And you know, oils have their place in our diet, but you know, super greasy food is uh, something usually to be avoided because of the type of oil they use and how they cook it and stuff. So all in all, it was a great, it was a great uh, experience. Um, I feel lighter. I, I lost weight, even though generally I don't have too much weight to lose, but I did lose a little bit of weight. If, you, if you're a little bit overweight or very overweight, you would probably lose, you could lose in just five days juice fast, you might lose three kilos, four kilos. And you might say, yeah, that's just water weight. But I believe if you kept going, uh, you would lose more weight, definitely. Because, you, you know, when you're just getting your calories mostly from uh, either avocado fats and avocados or, or sugar in the fruits um, you, it's quite hard to consume a high amount of calories so you're automatically going to be in calorie deficit and then your your body is going to start after a first few days of you know headaches and feeling low energy you'll get your body's gonna be like all oh, right we can start getting energy from your fat stores so then it starts eating away at your fat stores would I recommend this to lose weight I'm not sure I might recommend it to uh, for the first you know to do a five or seven day kind of juice fast then move to another kind of uh, Lifestyle I wouldn't call it a diet which would help you lose fat while still eating foods um, So it might be a nice kickstarter to losing weight, but I wouldn't really I don't know I think it's a bit more too hardcore of of a diet to 
do for the long term to lose weight. There are ways to lose weight without stopping eating. The main reason I would do this is to give your organs a break, like I said, to kind of cleanse yourself, to let your body clean itself and detox itself, and really to teach yourself, you know, patience and teach yourself that, you know, your desires is one thing, and then your biological like needs and hunger is a completely different thing. Uh, that's something else. And, you know, also, you know, as they say, it's like good to remind yourself that if things got bad and you didn't, you know, you didn't have much food, you can do all right uh, on just a little bit here and there. SubhanAllah, Yani. And what you might find as well is that uh, you're, you've got plenty of fat stores to uh, suffice you energy wise, uh, as long as your body's eating from those fat stores. Um, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big believer more and more now in health. And because what I've realized is, what you eat is actually affecting your hormones and it's affecting the way your brain works. And therefore it's like affecting every aspect of your life. When we talk about designing the Muslim mindset for success, part of that is, is what you're eating because it's affecting your brain. And especially, especially your hormones. I'm learning more and more about hormones, about birth control pills, about uh, what the food does to your hormones and how some people are obese and they can't lose weight even if they're not eating much because of hormones, right? So this is uh, another area to look at. It's a significant part of you know, what you might call personal development. And you know the Prophet Sallam, I'll end it with this maybe, the Prophet Sallam, I think the main component, after being interested in diet and nutrition for a few years now, the, the, the overall message I would say is don't eat much, don't eat too much, right? Because you know, people talk about carbs, and you know, I actually talk about carbs and refined sugars, and it's the, the it hits your bloodstream, uh, insulin resistance, all of this stuff, which is true, but then again, uh, stuff like honey and dates they are very uh, calorie intense, they're, they're simple sugars, and you're consuming them, and they might hit your bloodstream hard, but. If you're active, meaning your body needs um, energy, and you know just generally active, decently active, and then you're not eating huge portions of stuff, you should be fine. You know, I always talk about uh, white rice and white pasta and white bread. You know, it's evil. All right, it's, it's refined, which means it hits your bloodstream hard, which is true. But the main problem with the white rice, for example, is people are filling a plate with rice and then they're adding the sauce and all of that. What you should do is have one third of your plate maybe rice and then the rest could be other things. This, the main problem is portion control, I would say. Um, and that's why when you eat brown rice, for example, you realize you can't eat as much as white rice. And that is the actual devil in the white, uh, white sugars, basically, white flour, so, is that the fiber is stripped away and therefore it doesn't fill you up as much, therefore you can eat so much of it. So the Prophet he didn't eat much. And I believe this is the general thing. Now, fasting is great. And I believe, you know, we should always try to fast three days a month or one day a week is cool and just make it into a habit. You know, if you do one thing uh, regularly every single Monday or every single Thursday, it just becomes a habit. It just becomes like, yeah, I'm fasting. And it's no longer something scary that you're scared of fasting and stuff if you do it every week. So uh, portion control like Prophet Sallam, fasting like Prophet Sallam, and then, you know, as, a, as an extra thing, um, could be something like this juice fast or it could be that you fast the Islamic fast you get the edge for that you get the good intention for that and then when it's time to break your fast you simply have a soup and maybe some fresh you know fruit and vegetable juice and you you do that for example so you're basically going 24 hours with very little so once a week you're giving your body that rest you know giving your organs that rest so this has been my experience uh, leave your thoughts in the comments because I know you know the area of nutrition and food can be quite uh, not controversial but there's a lot of different opinions and I'll be the first to say that um, I follow certain people and I trust certain people with their advice but the truth is there's sometimes very conflicting um, evidence out there and so it's very difficult uh, but that's why I think the simple principle of following the sunnah of small portions and fasting that alone is like a great summary of stuff so yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts about what I've done. Would you consider doing it? And, you know, general tips and advice uh, or just thoughts and ideas uh, or criticisms of what, what I've done and what I'm suggesting. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, a longer one, but hopefully full of content and ideas. Yalla, assalamu alaikum wa